Hello again and welcome back to my channel. I first want to apologize if you hear the mowers. They're from my neighbors. I thought they stopped and so I started recording and now they started up again. So my apologies if you hear them. But anyways, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I wanted to just share uh, my latest sneaker obsession, which is New Balance. Uh, I had this pair of New Balance from like probably eight years ago and they, I wore them until like literally the soles on the inside like just that would come out every time I would just like slip them off my shoe, my foot. Um, the whole thing would just, it was just, it was time to throw them away. So I absolutely love those shoes. They were so comfortable. They were great for working out, running, walking, doing whatever, lifting weights. I, I use them for everything. So um, it, it was only a matter of time until I got myself a new pair of balance, new balance. And now I have three new balance sneakers that i absolutely love and so i wanted to share them with you so if you want to see what they are then just keep on watching okay so let's get started with the oldest pair that i have which are these right here these are the new balance 327s you probably have seen them all over instagram tiktok um the blogs they're just the quintessential like it shoe for probably about the last three years so i grabbed these this is the sea salt color combo and i absolutely love these shoes i will say i feel like i got a nine and a half on here yes so while a lot of people say that they fit true to size i'm usually a size 10 and you would think especially with a sneaker you would get your true to size but I actually sized down a half size to a nine and a half and they fit perfectly. Like they are not tight at all. I can wear them with socks and they are just like a great shoe. So in my opinion, I feel like they r run a slightly larger, not too much. You may want to size half a size down. But I really love this retro style. I love like this whole gummy pattern here on the back. The way that it's shaped, it's just so unique to me. And I just feel like this is such a great pair of shoes. I love the suede pattern here on the toe. Now they are a little bit dirty, so they usually are a little bit more wider, but I have used these a lot, so they do have some wear. I really loved this neutral color and then the hint of the burnt orange here on the back made it look so like fall inspired. I really love wearing these with the leggings, especially cause the legging just like really like molds to your leg. And then you have like this bulkier sneaker at the bottom. And I think it looks so chic and so badass. And so I really, really love this pair of shoes. Okay, let's move on to my next pair. Because I loved the 327s so much, I went ahead and grabbed another pair, which are these right here. and they have some dirt on the bottom. So clearly I use them. <laughs> these are the New Balance 237. So these have, again, another more of a retro feel. Um, I feel like this one just really takes me back to like a shoe that you would see probably in the 90s. Um, so like the sole right here, it's a little bit bulkier. Um, here is how it is on the back. It kind of like flips up, but the gummy doesn't go all the way the back of the shoe like the 327s does. These I grabbed in my normal size 10 and they fit just fine. This is more of something that I would use as a casual shoe. These will look great with joggers. You can even wear them with your casual jeans for the fall and winter. I also like this little unique design here on the toe. So it looks a little bit different than the 327s. Um, but it's a little bit more of like a, I don't know how to explain it, but like a fatter shoe around your foot, if that makes any sense. Like the 327s have a lot of structure. Um, I just wanted to say like architecture, I guess. Um, and this one is just more bigger, if that makes any sense. Clearly I'm not good at really describing, you know, like all the aspects of a shoe, but can't tell you how to style them. I would definitely style these again with leggings. You can wear them with biker shorts or even with a cropped jean. I feel like if you have some jeans that are a little bit cropped so that they really highlight your footwear, I think these will look super cute with that. Okay, moving on to my last pair of New Balance is these. These are my latest addition to my New Balance and our sneaker collection really because no, I do have some Nikes actually. But these New Balance are my latest addition. So I absolutely love 
this style. This just takes me back to like something you would see in the 80s or 90s. It's really a retro shoe and I absolutely love the way this makes my foot look. Like I'll be honest, my shoe size completely grew two sizes um, whenever I was pregnant with my girls. And so I get a little self-conscious sometimes wearing certain types of shoes because they make my feet look bigger. Um, but I like that these do not. So these make my feet look just fine. So this is definitely gonna be a shoe I'm gonna wear probably all season, all fall, all winter. I love this color combination. This one is called the Nimbus Cloud and White. There is a little bit of a darker gray option as well, which I feel like it's a little bit more classic and you probably have seen a lot more of that style. But I really liked this gray option. As you can see, the other two pairs are more neutral, like beige tones, tan. Um, so I didn't have something that had the gray tone. So, I, so that's why I was drawn to this shoe right here. So obviously these would also look great with your athletic wear or active wear. So if you have any leggings, they would look really good with that. But I feel like this would also pair really nicely with trousers. So, so we've noticed that the whole street style wearing the trousers with sneakers looks really chic and elevated, but it still has like a casual feel. I feel like this would be one of the perfect shoes to wear with those trousers because it's a little bit more understated than let's say the 327s. It has more of a rounded toe as well as opposed to like 327s that have a little bit more of a pointed toe. There is a suede lining on the outside. So I would say that you need to invest in probably a suede protectant. So there is a spray that you can purchase, which I'll link it down below for you. And that way you can kind of protect the suede from water or dirt and just prolong your sneakers. So there you have it. Those are my New Balance obsessions lately. I've linked all three pairs down below so you can check those out. Let me know in the comments if you have any New Balance sneakers and which one is your favorite. And go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And also don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I appreciate you watching today and we'll chat soon.